Hey everybody, so I was gonna show you, if you use our loose powder or our bronzer or our um, powdered blush in the rose silver, this is something that we found is very, very helpful because the number one complaint about our loose three loose powders is this contraption that they come in. Um, they It wastes a lot of product and it's very, very hard for some people to activate. And so this is what a lot of us do that use this makeup artist. So I'm gonna show you. You can get these three sift, you can get a, you can buy a single sifter, I think for like $4 on Amazon, or you can get a pack of three sifters. I think I paid $8 for these three. And it's perfect because we have three powders. We have the rose, uh, the silver rose powder that I use as a blush. We have the bronzing powder that I use as contour and for bronzing, and then we have the loose powder. So it comes in a set of three, which is exactly what I needed. Um, this is my personal one that I use. You can see I just peel the sticker off the bottom and put it on my powder so I know which is which. So, like I said, this one is empty. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I was shown to do. So I'm just gonna pop this off somehow, some way. Probably need to get some tweezers. Mm. So, how y'all doing? Oh, goodness. Okay, I just popped this off the other day to get the last bit of my powder, so. Oh, there we go. All right, so. I'm so bare. All right, so this is Cinegent's Translucid Loose Powder in Natural. So what I'm going to do, instead of activating it, I'm just going to twist this off. See, it's not been activated. If it had, you'd see powder there. And then I'm simply just going to unscrew this. It just unscrews. And be careful because there's a lot of product in this topper right here. So I'm first gonna tap that out because you don't wanna lose any of that. So I'm just gonna tap this out of the top to get every last drop. See how much is in there? That's a lot. And you can tell that's where it soaks through and comes to the brush. Let me see if I've got it all out. Yeah, I pretty much got it. All right, and then I'm just gonna take what's in here and I'm going to dump it in my sifter. And I believe these are the three ounce sifters. I'm just tapping it to get any loose powder. Not too much is left behind. So I'm happy with that result. So now I have dumped just a little bit of powder left. And this is our anti-aging powder, by the way. I'll bake with this. I'll do like a, literally like a 60 second bake in the morning on top of my foundation and I won't have to powder my face for the rest of the day. It mattifies it and it's got Cineplex Complex in it, um, which is anti-aging benefits. So that's empty. So you can throw this in the trash. You can keep it. You can use the brush if you want to. Um, whatever you want. I, I just trash it. So, but some people like to keep the brush. You can just, I mean, you can literally you know, unscrew that and keep the brush if you wanted, but it's your choice, but I choose to throw it, throw it in the trash. So there is that, and I'm just going to put the lid back on it, and I feel like I have more control over it because so much comes out in this. You do lose a lot of product, and this powder is not exactly cheap. So, and then another little trick, um, many of you that look, use loose powder you probably know this, but you just simply shake it, right, and a lot should come out, and the trick to this to help you save on your product, sorry, my hair is everywhere, is use what comes out in the top, not what comes out there. Because you know that if you dip your brush in there, you're going to get a lot of product on there that you don't need. So just use right here what's in the top. So that is that. 
So I just transferred this translucent loose powder into a sifter that I got on Amazon for about $2.70. It makes my life so much easier. All right, peace out, Girl Scouts.